Hey, guys, welcome back to another episode of MLB 14 Road to the Show with Simon Unger. This is episode 23, and we are getting ready for our next series here against the Oakland A's. There you see Casimir will be on the mound. He is 7 and 8 with an ERA of 4.43. And of course, uh, it's not been a bright year for the Twins or for Simon. Uh, he's been struggling at the play, and not to mention the Twins as a whole have been struggling there. You see 47 and 66. They are 20 games out of first place. And I believe we are somewhere in the in uh, the latter part of the month of July. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll get to our next appearance here. Of course, uh, no, August. We're in the beginning of August. So we just got done with the San Diego series, which, they, which was one of those rare uh, interleague uh, two-game series. And we have to go now to um, Oakland for this series here. So, uh, like I said, it's a four-game series. We'll see what Simon can do. Um, we split this last series with the Padres. Uh, we won game one, 6-1. to one. And then, for some reason, Unger went 0-5 for 5 after he was 3-4 for 4 in the first game and had three RBIs and went 0-5 for 5 the next day with a strikeout. And the Twins lost 8-4 to four in that game, two against the Padres. So we'll see here what he can do here in this game. And we'll see if uh, we can uh, turn that over 5 around and really do some damage here against Oakland. So there you see 1-1 uh, one, one pitch here, 1 out. We've got a runner at second here. And this one gets popped up there. And, th of course, if this is going out to dead center field, yeah, that one's going to get caught. Uh, there you see Unger try to go yard that time and could not do anything. So that will be an out right there. And you'll see here he'll get 12 points for that solid contact there. Good at bat, but cannot do anything to move the runner over. So top of the third here now, runner at first and with one out. This is a nice chopper right there. And this gets out there between the center fielder and the left fielder. And this was going to be an extra base hit right there, a double right there. And he's actually going to drive in a run here as the catcher loses the ball there. So that's an RBI double for Simon right there. So one run is now across the plate there. And you see 17 points for that great at-bat. They should, shouldn't say good at-bat. That was a great at-bat. So uh, he is able to put a run there on the board. So one nothing now, top of the fifth here, two outs. And Unger's up to bat again. This one pops up there. And of course, I'm pretty sure Unger needs to start taking more of his time, taking more pitches here, as he pops that first pitch up there, and he gets one point for that at bat. So we'll go ahead and go to now to the rest of his at bats here, top of the eighth here, two two pitch, two outs, and one one still across there. You see, drop third strike, which is a usual thing for Simon, and he cannot outrun that one, and he gets out there. So five pitches there he took, he uh, took there. And he actually, uh, they actually tack on two more runs as the Twins win it three to nothing. There you see Plouffe gets his t uh, seventh win of the year. And Unger was one for four, a double RBI and a strikeout, a 238 average as they win it three nothing. So now we'll go ahead and go to game two here and we'll see some defense here from Unger. So bottom of the first here, 2-2 two -two pitch. And there you see a nice grounder right there and Unger gets that one and does very well so he's been doing very well on defense but when it comes to offense uh, just like his teammates they have been uh, abysmal uh, to say the least so bottom of the next inning or no excuse me top of the top of the fourth here with 0-2 Oakland leaves it by three and this one gets ripped right to the third baseman for an easy out and that's a five to three put out and you can check those on your scorecards there as you see there, Simon Unger gets uh, 12 good points for that good at bat with that solid contact. So now bottom of the fifth here, 2-1 pitch, one out. And this is a be a grounder to Unger. Unger grounds that one perfectly and nice fielding right there from him that time. So he'll get eight points for that in fi uh, great fielding there and that great throw and taking his time there on getting the base runner out. So 0 for 2 for the day, a fly out and a ground out. As the Oakland is still tr leading by three. And then, ooh, that slider. I don't know what he was thinking about s swinging that one for. Poor at bat right there. Yes, indeed. Uh, for that four pitch at bat. Gets one point. 
so we're now we're trailing by four now here and you see Unger get chops that one to the second baseman and that's another easy out right there and that makes it now I believe 0 for 3 for Unger now in this ball game and or no, actually no 0 for 4 uh, in the ball game as you see here uh, we end up losing the game by 4 7 to 3 Oakland wins it. So Oakland wins uh, or wins the uh, second game. We win the first game, and we'll see here in th game three if we can change anything here. Try to get some adjustments uh, with our batting here. So two one one pitch here, two outs, and Unger slaps that one right up the middle there, and the pitcher cannot get to it. So he gets there a nice single right there, and he can start off uh, here at this at bat. And you see a five points for that at bat right there. And we'll see the replay right there. This goes right up the uh, mound. And the pitcher cannot get to it. And that right there will be a base hit for Unger. So, again, top of the third here. Runner at first. And we'll see here. It's going to be a thrown out here. A force out at first on Unger as he hits that one to the second baseman to get the last out there in the inning. So, one for two now. Simon Unger singled back in the first We'll see what he can do with another runner at first with two outs. One, two pitch here. This one gets chopped down. This goes to the third baseman. And third baseman gets the force out there at second. And that is four points for that four pitch at bat for Unger as Oakland leads it two to one. So 3 0 count for Unger. And he ends up walking this one. So he actually keeps his eye on the ball and draws a walk there. So you see 12 points right there to his attributes there. Uh, but you see, we end up losing the game by three, four to four to one. Under one for one for three for the day, a walk and two thirty six for his average there, as we lose four to one. So now Minnesota has another shot here. They can possibly split the series if they can win this game here, game four against Oakland. So top of the fourth here, nobody aboard and nobody out, and a slider right there, and Unger cannot get to. He's late on that one. As you see, Griffin gets a strikeout right there for his team. And now we move on to the fifth inning. So bottom of the fifth here, runner at first. They're calling for a double play here. And we're in double play depth. But here it's going to be an off-speed pitch here. So it's going to give enough time for Unger to get to that ball here. Flip it a second and a first. And nice double play right there. Start off right there from Unger. And there you see he gets eight good points for that uh, great reaction and great throwing decision right there uh, so we'll see here top of the six here with one uh, to nothing for the twins leading by a run nobody out and a force out right here as a drop third strike there forces Unger to take off for the first base and he can try to get a uh, be a base runner but he gets thrown out there by the catcher there so that's a one to three or excuse me two to three put out right here as we see here in the replay, Unger getting thrown out there at first. So over three for the day for him. A strikeout back in the sixth there, as we just seen, and we'll see here what he can do here. So we're trailing, or actually not trailing. We're actually up by two. And then you see he saws the bat right there. Unger does, and he gets thrown. Oh wait a minute! They say he's safe, and the first baseman was thrown off the bag there. So now that's going to put him on board there, so he's going to be safe. As you see here, he saws off the bat there, one bat piece going one way and the ball going the other. And Unger is able to beat it out as the first baseman cannot get to the base there and get the, uh, would have been easy routine play right there. So over four for Unger, as you see here, and they say it was an error on the pitcher that the last at bat went under and so there you see another drop third strike right there and Unger gets thrown out one more time and that will make it now 0 and 5 for him for the day as you see we'll get no points for that bat and he whiffs again I don't know what he is thinking he I think he might have something on his mind he might have to talk to this to the team psychologist there because uh, he's just not been playing too well so there you see another put out right there. And as you see the t uh, Twins, the rest of the teammates uh, pick up the slack as they win it 6-2. to two And Unger 0-5 for, for the day. Three strikeouts and his average at 232. So uh, we end up splitting the series there. And now we're going to go ahead and we're gonna actually going to send this to just about the end of March. 
Uh, we're going to get ready for the Kansas, Kansas City series. It'll be a three-game series there in KC. So we'll go ahead and send this. And so far we've won now two. Uh, make that. Now we lost. Now we got another win. Of course, we're going we're gonna to skip that train for right now. And then we're going to go back home, go against Kansas City. We, open, we get the opening winning, opening game there, uh, the series. And we win the second game. And we lose the third game. We come back and win the fourth. And then we got a Cleveland series here, as you see here. And we pick up a nine. We pick up the win that series there. And then, of course, Detroit here playing very well. Uh, we win the first game out of that series, but end up losing the last two. So, as we see here, we got a pitching matchup there. Uh, of course, now we have to go against Shields, which uh, right now the way Simon's been batting right now, uh, he might want to just sit out this game. So, uh, we'll see here. We're still 20 games out of first place. The only team that's close to the Tigers right now are the Indians, who are only five games out of first place. So, out of the last 10 games, uh, the Twins have been 6-4. and four. As you see there, 24-31 and 31 in the division. Not doing so hot right now. And hopefully things can get better. Uh, hopefully we can chalk this up to a... Uh, a moral victory here as we get ready for the end of the season so right now I'm just going to show you just what's going on around division by division there you guys can pause the video and check those out there uh, you see my Red Sox 68 and 63 11 games out of first place ouch <laughs> uh, but we're not this is not the Red Sox series this is about this is uh, Simon Younger so um, we'll go ahead and see you show you guys the wild card there you see Indians and Athletics there uh, going for the, the two spots there in the wild card and then we'll go ahead and go ahead and we're going to show I believe the uh, National League standings here um, there you see the East right now the Nationals are leading it uh, with 79 and 52 record right now of course the Cardinals there in first place 72 and 59 uh, the Brewers right behind them just a game behind them and everybody else is in double digits and then of course we'll go to the National League West as you see the Dodgers right there have a nice lead on everybody there and that's pretty much a shoe in for them uh, as they have an 88 and 44 record there and of course in the wall card right there uh, it looks like uh, the Brewers and Diamondbacks are going for the wall card out there out west so hopefully your favorite team is doing well if not well there's always next year uh, but that is it for this episode you guys of uh, MLB 14 wrote a show with Simon Unger We'll definitely come on back. We'll see if Simon can turn his uh, season around here uh, with only about a month left in the season. Hopefully he can turn it around and get ready um, for this long offseason for his, just his first year. So uh, there you see 9 and 10 for Shields, uh, 3.42 ERA, 129 strikeouts. So it may not be bad, but it may not be good. So definitely come on back. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Also, if you're new to the channel, uh, please hit that like button, or please hit the submit or the uh, some, uh, sub button, and subscribe to the channel. So, as always, keep yourself healthy, and I'll see you guys next time.